move on to the BKT stand at Agritechnica 2025, where it sounds like they're having a bit of a party in the background, celebrating some of their latest products and developments. And to talk us through those new products and developments, I'm now joined by Willem Jan Stratton. So, Willem, what have you got for us today? Well, first new tire we're having is um, the 1020 5538. It's a VF CFO tires, which, right. which we developed especially for self propelled slurry spreaders. What is uh, particular about the tire is when you look at tires which are currently on the market, most of them are around 1 meter 85 tall. Yeah. Uh, this tire, as you can see, is tall. And is you're, you're not short either. <laughs> I'm 1 meter 85. Yeah. Uh, this one is about uh, two meter ten. Okay. So uh, a little over two meter five tall. Right. So you get that reduced rolling resistance. Exactly. It's rolling more easily uh, because it's taller. Yeah. And also because it's taller, it's giving a longer footprint. Right. And that longer footprint is reducing the rutting and is also enabling uh, the tire to roll more easily over the soil um, and limit the soil compaction. Okay, and does this tire, does this have VF properties in this so you can reduce the pressure at all? Or? Exactly, it is a VF tire which means in principle it has 40% higher load capacity so you can decrease the pressure in the same way. And what is very special is it is a CFO tire. Okay, so what's CFO mean? What's that? CFO stands for Cyclic Field Operation. Oh, so this is where it's going to be under a heavy load when it's full, then light and empty, heavy and full, light, constantly up and down exactly. all day long. Exactly, and when it's used in that way, you can even reduce, compared to a standard VF tire, your pressure by another 0.5 bar in practice. Right. So what it means is if you fit this to a self-propelled slurry spreader, uh, these big machines with easily 10 tons per tire in a yeah. field, you would still be able to operate it at around 1.1 bar. Really? So that's very low. Really low for the weight that it's carrying. Yeah. yeah. And another benefit of the tire is when you are working with this high load and the high center of gravity which these machines are having, mm. always the risk is the stability. Yes. Now, originally, most of these tires are 32 inch, uh, are on 32 inch wheels. Mm. We fitted this with a 38 inch wheel. Okay, and that just reduces your sidewall, does it? Exactly, it reduces right. your sidewall, so it increases your stability. And as a second uh, big benefit of that, most of these machines are equipped with CTIS. We slightly decrease the air volume inside, which makes you able to much faster change the pressure when you're going out of the field on the road. Of course, right. So you've engineered a lot of properties into this that are ideal for this situation. Absolutely. Because <laughs> it's, it's a big challenge this, isn't it? For slurry it is. spreaders. Because you've got to have that stability, low rolling resistance, and you've got to spread the weight as well. Exactly. All in one. Exactly, yeah. And then maybe uh, one last thing which is quite important on these tires is the pattern design. Because these machines, are facing a lot of challenges. First, a major part of the time they're in grassland, yeah, um, spreading the slurry on grassland. What you want there is not too much opening between the lugs, right. not too aggressive lugs, yeah. because you don't want to damage the grassland. So for that, we made a lug with a pattern with 23 lugs to nicely, evenly spread the weight on the grassland. Yeah. But then, of course when you go on the arable land, you still need traction. So you can see in the shoulder here that the, the look is pretty much, well, almost 90 degrees. Well, not really 90, but yeah. a lot uh, opposite to driving direction okay, to yeah. still give you that traction. Yeah. So it's a very balanced design in this sense. I was going to say, again, more challenges because it has to do more than one thing <laughs> in more than one situation. Exactly. Yeah. So you've had to kind of, you know, when it's sort of shallow and close, you've almost had to put in some turf care properties in there, turf tire almost. Exactly, exactly. Cool. Yeah. So that is that one. Yeah. Uh, what's your next one, Willem? So over here, we've got another uh, BKT innovation. Right. Uh, because this is the first VF, 965 38 
flotation tire. This one is uh, designed especially for trilled slurry spreaders. What you see nowadays is like on the self-propelled slurry uh, spreaders that yeah. uh, the, the, the contractors, farmers are looking for tires which are taller because they are, in this case, they, you can pull them more easily. It saves you fuel, it saves you rutting in the field. So everyone is convinced the tires need to get taller. Right, so that's the way it's going. That's the way it's going. Now, one of the solutions which are being used quite often are 960-42 tractor tires on a trailed slurry uh, spreader. Yeah. It's a nice solution. It really works very, very well in arable land. Um, but what we like about this tire is, compared to a tractor tire, it is having a flotation pattern, which means on the road, it's gonna run much more silent and much more easy. Okay. Uh, it will save your fuel. Yeah. Um, because the pressure can go up as high as 3.6 bar on the road. Right. And then when you're on the grassland, obviously this pattern is much more friendly with rounded shoulders with not too big openings. Yeah. So on grassland it will outperform any tractor tire, obviously. Okay. So like we say, everything's sort of kind of smoothed out and sort of rounded. Exactly. And then this center section here, it's this area here is shallower than this area there. So do you get more rigidity in the center of the tire there? Exactly, that, that's it. And it will help you also uh, on the road to get the stability, uh, to get the low noise on the, on the road. So it's, it's helping you on the road, it's helping you on the grassland. Okay, there you go. I'm saving a little bit of fuel as well if it's easier that's to it. pull. That's it, yeah. that's it. And then you've got these slightly deeper rounded shoulders for once you... So it still works in arable land. Yeah. yeah. There you go, so that's, that is that tire. What else have you got, Willem? Well, uh, we've got even one more. Uh, it's all the way over there, right, so we'll, let's we'll have, a look. have a look, shall we? So this is another uh, new size which BKT is bringing. Um, as you see, self-propelled sprayers today, it's all about ground clearance. Yeah. Having a bigger tire. So nowadays, 2 meter 15 tires on the newest generation of sprayers are getting more and more seen across the market. Now, on these, the 380s are most widely used. Uh, we have from BKT also 480, so a little bit wider. Yeah. Then there's 520, and obviously we are offering the 650s. So we're offering a wide range of different widths of tires, all with the same outer diameter, two meters 50. Okay. Only the 580 was missing. So we are now the only one offering a 580, 85, 46, so offering a two meter 15 tall solution, 580 wide uh, for sprayers to find the perfect balance still be able to drive between the row crops, mm. but because of the wide tire, get a lower pressure again on the soil, so prevent soil compaction and yeah. prevent rutting. Right, and is there a big demand for a 580 sprayer tire? I would say it is. it might be more of a niche segment, but that's the strength of BKT. We're not only going for the big runner sizes, we want to offer to our, uh, to our customers, to the farmers, to the contractors, the right solution for yeah. their challenges. Well, that's it. You, it, you know, it appears to me, you know, just from my own experience in the UK, we're, we're seeing BKT more and more here, there, and everywhere. And traditionally, it was more of the the lower spec options that we always see. But clearly, from today, there's obviously a lot of high spec options that you do as well. A big variety. There is no manufacturer offering as many VF tires as uh, BKT is doing. So. We are very, very present in all the different segments of the market, including the really high-end, big tractors, big sprayers, etc. Right. And are all your tires produced in India? Is that where they all? That's where they're all made. Definitely. Like, definitely. Right. Yeah. Um, coincidentally, I've just visited a, a three of our factories in India over the last two months. Yeah. And I can say personally, they're all state of the art. Yeah. Um, continuously modernized, updated. Uh, I've never seen factories like those. Right. And what uh, the the R and D for these tires? Because, like I say, you need to tailor these tires to be specific for specific applications. So, does the R and D take place around the world, or absolutely? The, we are working uh, across every country in Europe with our distributors. They are truly partners of BKT, yeah. and they are always our eyes and ears in the market. They're visiting the farmers, they're visiting the contractors, they're hearing whatever challenges they're yeah. facing and bringing that information to us. Uh, we've opened now a product management office in the Netherlands, centrally in Europe, 
where we can work very closely together with all these distributors to uh, to support these yeah. developments. And being from the Netherlands yourself, you'll definitely understand the challenges for those first two tires that we saw over there for the slurry applications. Yes, it's, it's, it's very much. The Netherlands is, of course, a country with a very moist uh, soil. We are a large part of our country is below sea level. Yeah. So very prone to compaction and, and uh, it's rutting. So a lot of the innovations in this segment are coming from the Netherlands. Yeah, absolutely true. Great stuff. Well, Willem, thank you very much for just sharing a few minutes and just about your latest products and developments from BKT. So thank you once again. Thank you very much.